A visit to Assisi shows that Francis' message of universal love has a broad and timeless appeal. In fact, Assisi routinely hosts interfaith gatherings. And even non-religious travelers become pilgrims of a sort as they explore the town and remember Francis. Any pilgrimage site will be commercialized, and Assisi, which enthusiastically cashes in on the legacy of St. Francis, is no exception. The town overflows with Francis fans and a flood of Franciscan knickknacks. But most visitors are day trippers, so to enjoy Assisi at its peaceful best, see it early or see it late. While the town center may be congested, just a few steps away, you'll find pockets of serenity. As you explore, gaze up. Balconies are tiny gardens. Medieval Assisi was densely populated, with several times the population of the town today packed within its protective walls. The town's main square is an inviting place to relax. As in many European old town centers, it's pedestrian friendly and almost traffic free. Assisi has been a spiritual center since pre-Christian times. The ancient Romans went to great lengths to make this first century BC Temple of Minerva, with its stately Corinthian columns, a centerpiece of their city. A Christian church was built into the ruined pagan temple in the 9th century, and its fine 13th century bell tower soars above the crowds of the main square. But it seems most visitors are here for the story of St. Francis. Francis was a big deal even in his own age. In fact, he was made a saint within a few years of his death. Immediately, pilgrims came from far and wide, making Assisi a thriving pilgrimage center, which it is to this day.